Components of a behaviour change plan. A behaviour change plan should set out in detail the behaviours to be targeted, how and why the specific actions have been selected, and how these will be delivered. Evidence suggests that in order to change behaviour, the target audience should be involved in identifying barriers and solutions to the problem behaviour. There are six main headings which should be included. 1. Defining the behaviour to be changed. This section should state what specific behaviour changes you are seeking and whose behaviour specifically needs to change. For example, getting people to cycle more to work or drive less to university. The changes should be based on recent or planned community engagement feedback, as well as local and national policy. Two, community engagement, barriers and opportunities. This section should discuss how you discovered what the local community think and feel about active travel. For example, what would help or hinder them to change their behavior? beyond improving infrastructure? Have you considered those individuals and groups in the community who are seldom heard or experiencing inequality? Three, community engagement, solutions and opportunities. Here you should discuss how local people and community organizations were engaged to identify and prioritize the possible solutions. It's good practice to look at the assets that exist in the local community, including organisations who could help deliver some of these solutions. 4. Behaviour Change Action Plan This should include a list of actions and solutions based on priority and their impact on behaviour. You could use the APPEASE criteria. This stands for Affordability, Practicability, Effectiveness and cost effectiveness, adaptability, safety, and equity. Also, consider who will deliver these actions, when this will happen, what they will involve, and resources required. Ideally, each action should be costed. Rough estimates are fine if the project is at an early stage. 5. Communications plan. The communications plan is one of the deliverables which partners need to submit. It should detail how the project will engage and feedback to local people, community groups and stakeholders. Community anchor organisations are excellent assets to work with to reach people. 6. Measuring impact. The monitoring and evaluation plan is another deliverable which is essential to the effective delivery of a Places for Everyone project. It should outline what tools will be used to identify impact of behavioural change actions, when these measures will be taken and who will be responsible for them. We hope that you have found this video useful.